All right. So now this cover assembly that I, the cover part already have some existing GDNT which was previously extracted. I'm gonna go ahead and delete them. I, I know we're running out of time, but can you make the GDNT display in this screen? Oh again? yeah, sure. So if just because you'll show me one more time. Yeah. So now we got the assembly part is again a little tricky. So this is not straightforward as we ha have it in part. But for an assembly, if we want to show the GDNT that you created, you need to do. Yeah. The first step is to check whether this is turned on here. The annotation display. The next, you need to go under the annotate tab. And now from the tree filter, turn on the annotation display. So this will pop up, this will accumulate the annotations under the cover. And also I need to turn on the placement folders to, sh to show the annotation features too. So that's done. I'm looking at the correct part. Yeah. Don't worry about it, Priya. No, I'm... Um, <laughs> So the problem is in Creo, when you want to display it, there's multiple folders that you have to turn on. Is that it? Right. That's right. You need to turn on all those settings. And you need from... to turn on your datum folders, your feature control frame folders. Correct. Yeah. 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 Okay. So it's still loading. So now I need to go under annotate, cover assembly, and say show annotations. So this will pop up another data, which is show annotation. I need to turn on all the informations for there. I create it and hit OK. So it then looks it, like Creo doesn't like you to show GDT. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, it's kind of I mean, two, three steps together. So, so I go. So I miss my. All right. So this is, and again, you can see how the annotation you need you need to do separately for annotation. Then you got to do separately for target annotations yep. and annotation folder. So now I just turned on the annotation. So now I need to do it same thing for the target annotation. So same steps. So it's few more button clicks every time you need to turn on the GDNT. Yeah, so, I'm sorry. Yeah, asked. that's fine. But that's something good to know. I've, I have uh, had uh, clients who are asking for how to show this GDNT in the, in the assembly. assembly so that's something good to know. But yeah, that's there. All right, let me go back to 3D Sears, game model. So now I'm going to head and delete. I think it's already deleted. So now I'm going to pull in those GDNT from Creo. I'm going to click that part. So it's 11 GDNT. So this is one way of cross checking even before getting into the validate. So if you're really sure about how many GDNT that you created on that part, just by pulling in, it just gives you a number of how many GDNTs were extracted. So that 11 looks good because I know I created 11 GDNTs <laughs> in there. So and all those GDNT gets listed under the GDNT. So now just by clicking on each GDNT, you can see how the features get highlighted. So I know it's really hard to tell because the part is also green. So let me just go ahead and change the color selection from the graphics. So on the selector, let me make it blue. Okay, so now, yeah, now it's better. So now you can click and see how the features gets highlighted every time I click on a, a GDNT. So now- You just changed your highlight color. I thought you were changing so, the part color. No, I just, That's yeah. even better. <laughs> yeah, so, so now you can see how when I selected A, you can also see how the datum, um, so now I feel the, these GDNT being <laughs> confusing, so I'm going to turn that off. <laughs> so and I also see, uh, turn on the points to show them how the datum target points were pulled in. So And it also get listed under the point list. Five, six, seven are the datum targets. So open datum A, and you can also see those information listed. And if you want to go ahead and see the further information about the points, you need to click on summary, and this will list all the target point information here. So that's one thing to know. So that's done. And also, 